Hi everyone, welcome to the SMT TV channel. Okay, please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell on the right side to get a notification as and when I have the latest video. Show me some love, please like, subscribe and click the bell video. See you inside the channel. Okay, so then I conclude. Then what do we do? We cannot put money in the bank. We cannot put money in the insurance company. Then what can I do with my money? Okay, so the next question is, I want to provide your solution. Okay, the solution is very simple. Okay, first thing first, remember what is our goal in saving? Our goal in saving is to save three to six months of our one, our monthly income. Yes or no? That's, that's, the, that's, that's our, first, our first goal is to do that. Okay, that is to provide what? Liquidity. Remember, if you have energy, you need to have liquidity for yourself. Okay, then after that, right, what do you actually do? My suggestion is first thing first, you need to protect yourself. Yes or no? You need to protect yourself. Okay, so to protect yourself, what you can do is you can buy what we call a term policy. Okay, a term insurance policy. Okay, to protect yourself. What is this term insurance policy? Let's say, example, right now, you just finished graduation, your parents already supported you so many years, you know, even though right now the parents is not financially dependent on you, you want to uh, prepare something for them in case something happened to you. So you buy an insurance policy on yourself, but if something happened to you, if nothing happened to you, uh, uh, then you, the money is gone. Okay, it's like buying a car insurance. You buy a car, you buy a car insurance, if the whole year you drive a car and nothing happened to the car, the insurance company doesn't pay you anything. This is what we call a term policy. This will cost uh, very, very little. Okay, uh, uh, can be uh, about 0.7% of uh, 100,000. So 100,000 can cost maybe like uh, $300 to $500 per year. Okay, so it's very, very small cost for term insurance. Okay, you need to cover that if you want. If you want to actually give something back to your parents or you want to protect your, 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 your future. Okay, that's the insurance. Then the rest of the money, what you should do right after you have achieved this target, first thing first, after you have gotten to protect some of the term insurance, or before I forget, term insurance, the coverage, what you want to look for is about 10 times your, your annual income. Your annual income. This is the target that you should aim for. So let's say example, right now you're making $36,000 a year. Okay, so 10 times a day is 360000 Okay, you want to provide maybe like 10 times of that. Okay, if something happened to you, 36,000 goes to your family. That is the that's the aim. Okay, you don't need to get the full amount right from the start when you start working, but you want to eventually do this. But keep in mind this amount is for 300,000, the cost is very little. Okay, it's, it's uh, less than 100 years. Okay, for using term insurance. Okay, remember, it's term insurance, not life insurance. Okay, so that is the second part. Okay. Term insurance. Then the last part, okay, after you've done this two page, the third thing you want to do is you want to do what we call a regular, regular saving plan, okay, or some place they call a share builder plan, okay, a regular saving plan or share builder plan. So this money instead of instead of going the money going into uh, uh, the insurance company, it goes to buy a small amount of shares in the stock market, okay? So what you do is you can say, I want right now I want to do a regular saving plan of let's say $100 per month, and I want this money to go to what we call the uh, STI ETF, okay? In the future, I'll explain what is STI ETF, okay? But what you're doing here, you are actually investing in a, a, a fund, okay? What we call exchange, Traded fund. Okay, this exchange traded fund is what you call a passive managed fund. It's not active managed, it's passive managed. And you do regular, every month you put in $100 and all the money, okay, minus off the commission, which is very little, maybe uh, less than uh, one, one or two percent. The rest of the money is used to buy the ETFs and then you accumulate, you buy this ETF over time. Okay, you accumulate this ETF over time. So what you have over here is you understand what is the STI. Over time, long period of time, the STI actually will rise in value. Okay, this, this ETF will actually rise in value between about 9 to about 
percent over time. Okay, so instead of asking the company to invest the money for you, okay, which at the end of the day, after thirty years or twenty years, they will pay three to five percent. You invest directly yourself. Okay, using the money put into an STI ETF, you can get a higher returns. What you do not get is because you are directly investing in the market, you have higher volatility, higher up and down. But if you are investing over a long period of time, this is the better way to actually invest your money versus putting your money in insurance company. Okay? So, what I share with you all here is what we call a do it yourself. Instead of letting the insurance company do everything, you know, and then uh, they, they invest the money on their own and do it uh, for, for them. Understand that when you do that, you pay a lot of uh, people in the middle. When you do it yourself, you get higher returns and also potentially higher coverage. So, okay. so this is a video, okay. especially for those who are young, who are starting out. Uh, this is how I would advise my son or my close friends, how I would do when I first start out and have some money to put into my bank. Okay. So, see you in a future video. Bye. So, if you don't want to miss another one of our trading videos, remember to ring that bell.